subscribe to Serving It Raw. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Just make sure the coke fire. Told the jeweler cut some links and bring the gold higher. He wanna shoot it, he hot headed, he ghost rider. Send him through your shit like Robin Givens with the old iron. Swing it, fork in the glass pot clank. Holding the boat, they shit sinking. I make one brick two without blinking. They was sleeping, now I got them rethinking shit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You done tapped into Serving the Raw Podcast. I am your host, Gutter Kane, the Gutter Man, the Pyrex Iron Chef. Yes, I am back at it. And this right here, man, I want to get on some positive stuff. I want to talk about some positive things, man. And just, uh, you know, do these segments, man, where I'm pointing out the good stuff that hip-hop artists are doing out there. And so the first thing I want to bring to the attention was back in late November, uh, an 82-year-old woman was arrested for failing to pay a $77 trash bill. I know a lot of y'all probably heard about it. Um, it was uh, Martha Minifield. Uh, and um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go watch the video. And then, uh, but Trader Truth uh, stepped in after. And uh, he came to the aid of this lady, man. And he, he helped her. He helped renovate her whole house. And stuff like that, man. And so we're going to go check out the video. I'm not going to speak about the situation between him and Rose. So don't, you know, comment about none of that. I don't want to know about none of that. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of, of the situation between them two guys. As far as that's concerned, I have respect for both uh, artists. And I'm a, I'm a fan of both artists. And I hate that they, you know, have a situation. But their situation is, is you know, that's their situation. And uh, I'm I'm not I'm not here to speak on that at all. So if uh, if you waiting on me to speak about the situation between them or, or speak on their beefs or anything like that, man, or what's going on between them and shit, you got the wrong channel. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell so anytime I drop something, you know what I'm saying, you get the notification and you can go ahead and check it out. But hey, here we're gonna go to the video. You Martha Minifield? I am. Miss Minifield, we have a warrant for you. A what? Not paying your trash bill. What? I'm not joking. So you're going to handcuff me and take me to jail? Yes, ma'am. I got you. What if I'm mad at? I'm so serious. It's a warrant. Uh, Fail to pay solid waste and here's all, all your information. That's how I knew where your address was where to come. You should have got a phone call from the code enforcement about a month ago saying, hey, you need to come pay your trash bill. Reason I'm not saying this thing because my daughter takes care of that for me. Yes. You know, I, I, I'm just saying. Okay, well, she had not been doing it. And you got to go with me today. Anything you need to grab right quick, you can. And um, I can't believe you. We'll be going on down the way. So, what would I have to pay? It'll be $285 to get out at the PD. If not, I have to take it to the county jail. Oh, Lord. Uh, I can't believe you. Yeah, I'm going to put you in these right quick, okay? They're going to be in the front. Oh. I got to, I got to, okay? You got to be shaving yourself. Arresting. I am person. so I am so sorry, but the law is the law, Miss Manifield. Sorry, Miss Manifield. We got to get ready to go, okay? Okay. One second. Key. They arrested me. Yeah. For not paying my trash bill. And you know, friends always pay my trash Get somebody to come and get me there. Okay. If mm. y'all come on a Sunday, yes, yes, man. We, somebody. We, we do them all the time. We do them all the time. They just, 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 they just
just happened to get around to you on this day right here. We took two more in yesterday. They were saying the same thing. I came on a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, we're going to come around right here. Don't fall. Oh. Okay, my bad. My bad. I don't want you to fall in the water for them. Okay, okay, okay. Enough of that shit. <clears throat> but anyway, so like I said, man, Trader Truth came to the aid, man, and um, he struck up a um, a friendship, and uh, he partnered with uh, BEL uh, Furniture, uh, and he basically he paid about fifteen thousand dollars worth of furniture. You know, he included a queen size bed, full couch with several recliners and dressers. Um, you know, uh, renovation was made practically every room in the house, and uh, it was you know more to come. So, um, you know, he's helping. You know, he he was looking to work with this uh, this company out there, and uh, and so we're gonna go and um, check out let, let y'all see what you know a little bit of footage of what Trey did, um, and uh, and the furniture company that he was working with out there. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna check that out. Yo, yo, top of the day, check this out, man. Uh, some of y'all may be familiar with this part of the. 80 year old that was took to jail behind the trans bill that I've been helping out. Well, I'm gonna make sure we do some crazy stuff for them. But I need any contractors in the city of Atlanta or right anywhere near Valley, Alabama, man. Any contractors that wanna take part in trying to help bless a life, make sure y'all drop your contact in the, uh, the comments below or DM me. I need contractors. From Atlanta, you want to help or anywhere near Valley, Alabama, man. So we can try and make sure she she be blessed, you know, for for the things she deserves. So I let. Let me talk to her. You need to pay attention to the truth. You know it's sin for every death brings new life and with new life our chances are limited they say it's limited by the experiences that we may come across on a day-to-day -day basis it's limited by the circumstances of us being less fortunate in life they say it's limited by the spirit and the hope that we have that everybody try to take from you but then it's unlimited when you find peace with God Come take a walk through the hood with me Where faith is at a lower level Cause pressure is hard 30 years in the cell to leave a killer acquainted with God Amen. Going to war with pain to leave you internally scarred Watching the world crash is kinda odd We in the last days is what they telling me Eight year old children being convicted of a felony Alright so yeah, so that was a little bit of stuff that Trey did right there, man. And you know, he's also trying to um, repair the foundation. He's trying to get her central uh, heating and air, and he's also trying to help her get a car. Um, but I want y'all, you know, what I'm saying, let me know down below. You know, comment. Let me know. Do you think other rap artists should do, you know, the type of charity work that Trey is doing? And even though there are a lot of artists that already do, I think. Do you think that should be in the forefront? You know, a lot of times, man, you know, we got these platforms, these podcasts and shit. And when we, you know, talk to artists, man, we always talk about the drama and drama and beefs and this motherfucker did this and this and that. Do you think that the charity work that these rap artists, you know, and the good stuff these artists have done, should that be the, you know, should that be the thing that we focus more on instead of the bullshit? You know, because um, like Young Thug, for instance, man, Young Thug. He's done a lot of shit for his community and stuff like that. And I rarely saw or heard anything about it. But it's like as soon as YSL was hit with the Rico, that's all you see. You know what I'm saying? That's all motherfuckers is talking about. The Rico this, Rico that, Rico that and shit. But it's like, what about the, the stuff that Young Thug has done for his community? You know, why we don't talk about the good shit when it's actually happening, though? 
You know what I'm saying? I, I already know about people, but man, controversy sells and, and beats and shit sell. But now nah, we want to talk about this real shit. And to me, you know, what Trey and other artists are doing, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, you know what I'm saying? If, if they kind of, you know, backslide on some shit, we need to put out in the forefront the good stuff that they do. You feel me? So like I said, man, comment. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank y'all for checking out the video. Peace. Uh, just make sure the coke fire Told the jeweler cut some links and bring the gold higher He wanna shoot it, he hot-headed, he ghost rider Send him through your shit like Robin Givens with the old iron Swing it, fork in the glass pot clank Hole in the boat, they ship sinking I make one brick, two without blinking They was sleeping, now I got them rethinking shit